Physiology and Metabolism Physiology is the science describing the functioning of an organism. This includes the role of the organs in different functions such as digestion, breathing, vision, movement, cognition. These functions are themselves maintained by different processes such as metabolism. Let's take the example linked to food, digestion. The aim of the digestion is to release simple elements called nutrients from complex food and to make them bioavailable through the digestive tract. Food is thus transformed thanks to chemical reactions. The set of all chemical reactions that occur in a living cell or in the organism is called metabolism. Within the metabolism, we can define two complementary mechanisms, catabolism and anabolism. The catabolism aims at degrading organic molecules to produce the energy necessary for life. This process can be seen as combustion where the fuel needed is brought by macronutrients, lipids, carbohydrates and protein. Indeed, like combustion, catabolism needs oxygen to produce energy. This production of energy is accompanied by a production of CO2, water and waste that are evacuated. The energy produced is transferred in a small transport molecule called ATP. This energy will then be used for the other part of the metabolism, the anabolism. Anabolism regroups the reactions of tissue building and maintenance. There are also some additional molecules that can be required for specific organs. For example, to build and maintain bone, it is necessary to have protein, calcium and energy. This is the simple way to deal with metabolism. But to give you an idea of the complexity of the phenomenon, keep in mind that more than a thousand chemical reactions occur in a simple organism, such as the Escherichia coli bacteria. Thus, ATP is continuously produced by catabolism and consumed by anabolism. This is called the metabolic turnover. For example, an adult of 70 kilos synthesizes 300 grams of protein every day. This metabolism evolves during life. Indeed, the rate of protein turnover varies according to age or medical conditions. 15 grams per kilogram of protein are synthesized every day for a newborn baby whereas only 4 grams per kilogram are synthesized every day for an adult. This can be easily understood since children need to develop new tissues for growing, whereas adults only need to maintain them. This synthesis is even lower for the elderly because of anabolic resistance. Finally, we can say that metabolism is a vital part of physiology. It regulates all the mechanisms involved in the production of energy needed for each organism.